by trial. I mean, let's get this clear. Trial of what? You cannot think can be built on nothing. We have made it clear. The councils in the matter, representing the other four co-defendants, have made it clear in their applications that the main charge, treasonable felony, is not supported by any written law in the Federation of Nigeria. It's there in section 36, subsection 12 of Nigerian Constitution. Yeah. No Nigerian can be tried for any offense that is not supported by written law in Nigeria. And we have another law in this country. It is called the African Charter on Human and People's Rights uh, Ratification and Enforcement Act. Chapter A9, Laws of Federation of Nigeria. Article 20 of that chapter made it clear that all citizens of Nigeria have a right of self-determination. It actually used the word self-determination. I'm not sure the Office of the Attorney General is, is uh, aware of the existence of this law. And Article 1 said that the Nigerian state must do everything possible to assist the citizens of Nigeria in expressing that right without yeah. any let or hindrance. Okay. So the councils are saying, my lord, we don't have, they don't have a case before you. Okay. So continue to postpone requesting for bail, this and that, when there is no case before you is what we need to consider first. Yeah. This was why the argument seemed to have been drawn out. Because if you, if she makes a determination, in, with all due respects to the court, maybe they have, the court has not adverted its mind yeah. to the details of the application side. Yeah. But once the court does, it will come to that inescapable, inescapable conclusion that if there is no case before us, then there is no case to be tried. Okay. That is what we are saying. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. gentlemen. This is the High Court of the Republic.